Yo, what's up viewers? I'm sitting here with a special, special treat for you guys. Ontology is here with us and he's about to discuss Ontology Network for us a little bit more in depth than we can get at a Neo conference or presentation. So could you please explain Ontology in terms that my viewers can understand simply? Okay, uh, the define is distributed trust network, but actually is a kind of uh, infrastructure. The infrastructure can build for different scenario, the trust cooperation. For example, the digital as the digital verification, digital identity verification. They need this kind of multiple source to work as automatically uniform and a unique way to do that. And also the data exchange and a lot of the distribute scenario, the build trust, like the distributed community or distributed reputation. So that needs a kind of infrastructure connector to do that. So that is uh, ontology network to do. Yeah. So ontology is 100% about trust. That's number one what you guys yeah. are going for. You want to create trust not only between individuals but also corporations. Yes. Correct. Yes. Beyond that, not only in the, uh, the individual and the uh, corporation, but also include the objects, include the content, include everything. Actually, in the, uh, your daily world, life, or the real world, everything can be an entity. The entity have their identity, their data, their trust, their process, their life cycle. So, so if I understand correctly, you're going to create identities not only for people, you're yeah. going to create identities for objects? Yeah. Um, data? Yeah. Wow. And actually, it's uh, uh, ontology for identity part module, only one part of the uh, ontology infrastructure. But for this part, and then, uh, ontology will not be an identity service provider. You can see it's a mapping list or marketplace. Different identity verification provider can list their service or products on that. Everyone can choose which kind of identity service. That's all your scenario. They are looking for yeah, for use it. the same way or same approach easily automatically to do that. You can have a, maybe behind you have a hundred different verification identity. service identity service work for you. You can use different identity service to prove yourself in different scenario, easy way. Prove that you, not only yourself is you, but also you own these multiple assets. Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. And so we'll be able to, through the trust network, be able to trade assets back and forth. Yeah, of course. Because you can, just you, you have mentioned, you can prove which kind of assets belong to you. The assets may be the real world assets, or maybe the digital assets. You can prove, okay, this new account address or Ethereum address, Bitcoin address, is belong to me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even you can use the digital assets to, to apply the real world financial service based on those kind of trust model. So they have a bridge link to the real world and the digital world. The digital world. Yeah. You're creating that link, which is going to bring the literally trust network yeah. for everyone. Literally, yeah. it's going to yeah. happen because the thing with right now with digital assets and Bitcoin yeah. is there's no digital yeah. identity behind yeah. it. Based on that mechanism, you, the, your data or your other information related of you also can become a kind of assets. You can uh, share them with money or profits get that from your data. And that data or information also become kind of assets. You can trade in with uh, Trade, trade with your with own other. data. Yeah, your the data. Otherwise, you have other the technology mechanism. You can help you to to use your data as an assets. The data is belong to the different uh, the internet company or government. Facebook. You have no power, no tools to use that. Mm -hmm. But currently, you have those kind of mechanisms supporting you to do that. So you're giving the power back to the people, is yeah. what it sounds like yeah. to me. Yeah. Um, because as you know, Facebook, all the big companies, they abuse yeah. our data. Yeah. They abuse it and they sell it to companies and they don't care about yeah. the people who use their platform. Yeah. So you're trying to give power back to the people who says, this is my data yeah. and I'm going to use it as I please. Yes. That's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So could you expand on um, NEO and ontology and on-chain a little bit for my viewers? Okay, 
Uh, NEO, as you know, is a public project, is a blockchain focused on digital assets or, or smart e economy. But uh, the on-chain is a private company. He provided a private company to support the technical service for blockchain. They do a lot of projects for the enterprise, for the governments to do that. Um, and the on-chain, the ontology is uh, launched by on-chain, but finally the ontology will become a public project like the NEO. Like NEO. Uh, the architecture, the difference with NEO is ontology is a net blockchain network, chain network. There are not only one blockchain, multiple. there are multiple blockchain. Bitcoin, multiple, Ethereum. Yeah. Include, also includes the uh, ontology as a ledger framework, also can build a different uh, blockchain with different consensus model, be forced to meet a requirement from different scenario. And beside that, also the network can link traditional IT system, not only blockchain. Wow. Because a lot of data or a lot of trust source or verification service Our, is from the traditional IT system. Yeah, it's not IT on the blockchain system. yet. Yeah, you can link them with the blockchain to private the distributed or decentralized service on ontology network. So that is different. That's that. huge. That's yeah. massive. Yeah. Because like, like you said, there's data out there right now. I mean, if you think about it, probably only 0.0001% of data is on the blockchain right now. Yeah. Yeah. out there in the world yeah so being able to literally take data from a company yeah. centralized database and yeah. put it onto the blockchain yeah. and actually get it to work is going to be massive yeah actually the identity and the data is just the beginning beginning of the uh, ontology based on that you can see the cooperation the mechanism people community the uh, organization, even government countries, will be changed. So we can have the distributed community, just like I mentioned, distributed community, distribute Facebook or Twitter, and the distributed reputation system, how to evaluate uh, people, uh, corp uh, enterprise or government, they have a different angle, different aspects, different, based on different data or information, with a different evaluation model. Those kind of means you have a lot of different reputation or uh, Reddit score. You can use different scores for different scenario. We cannot just, uh, in most time, we evaluate people use the same way. Every it is time, unfair. Yep. Yep. People have uh, those people have this field. They are they have the uh, advantage. Another field maybe is not not very good. But so you cannot evaluate people or use all the way to do that. Because different service, they need different evaluation model. Different, different services, different yeah. countries, yeah. different everything. Yeah, you got to have a different identification yeah. system yeah. for each country because yeah. there's different rules. Yeah. there's different everything. So they will change the game rules for most scenario. People to people, people with other uh, governments, people with other the, the enterprise or companies. The cooperation or collaboration process will be changed a lot. Almost every scenario in our daily life or real world. So that is kind of revolution or next generation infrastructure. So the identity and the data just is beginning. It's the, only the, the tip of the iceberg. It's just a fundamental part. But more and more changes will come in, coming, coming following soon. this. Yeah. So you sound like you've been, um, you understand the crypto market pretty yeah. well. Um, what do you see happening in the next five years for crypto? Uh, I believe that will be a, one, there will be an important funding uh, market. It's maybe from the crypt, uh, crypto token, ICO will be a very important uh, funding approach. Mm -hmm. Maybe in some day, they can compare with the IPO, the yeah. same level. And based on that, we will have more and more professional institution for this part. Like well, the investment bank also will in the ICO part to do that. Well, what I see happening, this is just Chico Crypto's personal opinion, <coughs> is the people are more, more powerful than banks. I don't care what you say, people are going to, in, like, Yes, banks are going to be important, mm -hmm. but I think if you can get a community behind you, it yeah. makes you even more powerful. Yes, 
And actually, people argue uh, the uh, individual investor is non-professional in, in investor. They, have, they don't know how to do the real investigation for the company and for projects. So they know how to evaluate. Yes. But actually, even for those kind of professional investors like the investment bank, they also have an, a lot of a few resources for each project. They just quickly go through and have an evaluation model to, model to work out. To work it out, yeah. But for those kind of a public projects, thousands and, uh, and, uh, or more of the investor, yeah. they will collect the different information for the project. Team and their news, their new ecosystem, new project. They almost know the project, everything. And those kind of information will be uh, be shared in the social media, like the, the, the Reddit or different from. So everyone can easily do the evaluation for project. Yeah. The project is difficult to handle some important information. So that is way is individuals, thousands individuals, they work better than the investment banker. banker. <laughs> so the ICO, why ICO is cannot better than IPO. Yeah. Even IPO, we also have a lot of, the evaluation also is not perfect. It's not 100% yeah. at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, and yeah. like, like I was talking to Susan yeah. of QLink yeah, earlier yeah, yeah. about um, research. I yeah. do a lot of my crypto research, it's on Reddit, it's yes. on 4chan, yeah. it's on all these websites yeah. that I have to sift through so much bull crap to just find the real, yeah. real stuff. Yeah. So, Next question I got to ask for ontology is the roadmap. Yeah. What's what's happening in the future for ontology? What? Um, actually, ontology is uh, is uh, uh, nearly finished for first version. Unlike the other projects, is funding and then begin the development process. Ontology, like the distributed ledger, on chain already do a lot of infrastructure based on that. And currently, we also do the module, just I mentioned, identity and distributed data, the protocol, exchange protocol. Uh, we already done the design and the, the development. We already launched the internal test net for test. Really? So the next Q1, uh, we will get the public test net for that. And then we will launch our first mainnet, first version for the ontology. But ontology, just like I mentioned, that is just the beginning. That's just the beginning. So That's the tip of the iceberg. We will keep to, to push in progress for add more modules for support more and more the scenarios, specific scenarios. So you're, um, you're going to have multiple versions of white papers, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the, yes. the white paper actually is never will have the final version. Never. It Always will never be in done. progress. It's Our promise is every quarter, we will have a new version for the technical white paper or ecosystem white paper. Add more scenario, more technical modules That's for beautiful. support. Our version is, just as I mentioned, build a bridge for the real world and digital world. That means the best team from the real world or real industry, no matter they have the blockchain technology background or not, they can private their service as a distributor or decentralized way easily. That is ontologist version. That's your vision. That's yeah. what you guys are trying to yeah. focus on. Yeah. Well, I have <coughs> been a big fan of Neo, um, Ant Shares since the beginning. Yeah. When I first heard of ontology, I almost went insane because it was a project that I knew was going to be freaking massive. This is going literally, guys, ontology, the ICO, um, when it happens, it's going to be probably one of the bigger ones that's going to come out of 2018. I would definitely be investing, looking into this project. I thank you so much for this interview. Do you got any last words for my viewers regarding the project? Um, just to mention the ontology team, just a uh, uh, kick off kind of infrastructure for the new trust world. We hope more and more people have, have the same vision or same idea with us to join us, to build the new world, new trust world with us together. Like I said, um, one of the things about Chico Crypto is we like a actual problem you guys are solving, which yeah. trust, yeah. huge problem. Yeah. Community, you just explained it. That's huge, guys. That's why he's asking everyone, if you're a developer, if you know anything about the blockchain development, get 
help these guys. Um, they're looking for help. Everyone is in crypto yeah. right now. Yeah. It's 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 the new it's the new frontier, and literally, crypto is going to, in my opinion, take over IPOs, ICOs in probably about ten years. Yeah, yeah, I believe that's as well. <laughs> well, we have the same vision. We have the same thoughts. I thank you so much for joining Sex. my channel. Thanks for Ontology. Two thumbs up right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay.